Hi there, this is Kim. Today I have a card to share with you. I'm going to be using Copic markers to color in the image. This adorable image is called Little Birdie from All Dressed Up Stamps and it's been quite a while since I've used Copic markers so um, I'm going to be using two colors uh, from each color family just to it kind of helped me out a little bit and get me back into um, coloring with Copic markers. Um, to start with, what I did was, since this is a digital stamp, I resized the image and then I printed it out on my inkjet printer. And what I did was to uh, allow the image to uh, dry because um, in times past when I have um, taken the uh, printed image from the printer and I don't let it dry long enough it tends to bleed when I put the uh, Copic marker to the image and start coloring so to eliminate that this time I did let it um, dry for a little bit. I usually like to start with the skin tone so I am using YR0000 uh, which is the lighter shade to go all over her face and then with E00 I'm going to add some shading to her skin tone. I'm going to be using these two colors just alternating them back and forth as I blend and shade. As I color this image I'm going to be turning my paper every which way to allow me to have more control over my coloring. I'm going to have all of the uh, colors that I use uh, for my card on the blog. I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. I'm going to turn some music on while I color. So enjoy the music and I will be back in just a little bit.
to stay with the same color for the bird as her dress. So I wanted to add some um, highlights to um, this image. So I'm using a Signo Uniball white gel pen to go over her dress and her hair. Um, I was trying to decide where the highlights would go and um, as I was deciding, my daughter who loves to use um, these gel pens decided that she wanted to help me to add the highlights to her hair. So as you can see, she's um, going to town with it and she just loves to use this white gel pen. So as you can see, she's a really big help when it comes to highlighting images. She's going to add some dots to certain sections of the hair and uh, a couple of dots to her bow. So that completes the highlights on the hair. I also would like to add some shimmer to her dress and her hair. So I'm using Zig's Wink of Stella in clear. This is a glitter pen with a brush tip. I love using this pen to add glitter because it um, gives me a nice coverage and I can go over it multiple times um, to be able to get the coverage that I'd like for my stamped images. And so as you can see, I'm just going over her hair um, and I went over quite a bit just to make sure that I get a really good layer of glitter on her hair and also on her dress. And um, see right there, you can see the sparkly shimmer on the image. It's really, really pretty. And uh, so when I was all done with that, I felt she needed some color on her cheeks. So I pulled out uh, the Copic Colors R30 and RV23 to add some color to her cheeks. I also uh, went over her face with the Skin Tone Colors YR0000 and E00 um, just so that the uh, ink doesn't look all splotchy as I'm trying to blend the pinks onto her cheeks. So when I was done, I felt she needed um, something um, to sit on. So since there was a plant, a little plant behind her, I decided to add some grass and I'm using um, YG11 and YG17 to add the grass. The sentiment, um, I've had this sentiment for a long time. This is just one of my backup sentiments. This stamp set is retired, so I won't be listing this one, but you could use any sentiment that you like. I like to use some foam tape to give the sentiment some dimension. So once I was done with that, I like to use wet glue to adhere my image to the card base uh, because this really uh, bonds the two layers together and it um, will just last forever. So to add more sparkles, I place some uh, sequin assortments to the card. And that's my card for today. Thank you so much for watching. You can find the link to my blog below.